first time hosts the Cambodian people have seized this moment in their sporting history and embrace these games with passion and style. This is a great nation of bright colour and movement and an early light show feels appropriate. We've already had one put on by nature. There's some thunder and lightning around. Let's stop for the moment. Tour at these games, Cambodia won 18 medals, including eight gold. Vietnam won six. The hosts have won a further 14 gold medals in Khun Khmer, another of the martial arts identified with Cambodia. Just over 6,000 athletes have taken part in these games, participating in 584 events across those 36 sports. We're going to acknowledge also the crucial role of volunteers, almost 7,000 of them at these games. From the sports competition of the 11 country members around Southeast Asia. It's 11 member nations of the Sea Games Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, the Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, Timor Leste, and Vietnam. And one total medals, 157. Singapore, one of the Original nations in the Southeast Asian Peninsula Games. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. This is the trophy awarding ceremony designed specifically to award and recognize the abilities of our most outstanding athletes of the 32nd Southeast Asian Games 2023. It is with great honor we invite Samdek Pichai Senat Teban to present the award to our best athletes. Ladies and gentlemen, Sumtek. One male athlete, one female athlete will be recognized for their outstanding achievements at these games in Cambodia. Not usually, but in this case, two female athletes. A special moment coming up for Singapore and Kwa Ting Wen. Pal Chong Smith of Cambodia. She from the martial arts sport of Vovanam. Four gold, a silver and a bronze. And Kwa Ting Wen of Singapore, the 50 and 100 champion in freestyle. Winning the 100 for a fifth straight games. Relay gold medals as well. Two of which she combined with her sister, Jing Wen. 
brother won the award in 2019 and Jing Wen last year in Hanoi. Pal Chorex Matt. Cambodia, Cambodia doing so well in Vovanam, even though it is a Vietnamese martial arts form. Athlete Paul Jurisby, Cambodian athlete with four gold medals, one silver medal. Kwa Ting Wen flying back especially to accept the award. Says she's very honoured and proud to receive it. The sister and brother having won it also, it feels like a nice way to close the circle, says Kwa Ting. Congratulations, athlete Ting Win Kwa from Singapore with six gold medals and two silver for swimming, a total of eight medals. An explosion of fireworks over the Moradoc Stadium. The flame and the torch to disappear. Always a poignant moment at the end of a game like this. But there is always a future to look forward to. And we'll hear about that in moments to come. បានបានសោតទុកនៅឆ្នាំនេះខ្ញុំនឹងមរតកដល់ថ្លៃថ្លាសូមកាន់ដៃគ្នាអោភ្នាដល់ក្តីស្រឡាញ់ដល់ឆ
Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the 33rd Southeast Asian Games host country, the Kingdom of Thailand. Please allow us to perform the Southeast Asian Games Federation flag handover ceremony. In 1985 and 1995, in 2007, Thailand hosting again. And in two and a half years, it will be their proud duty to host once more. The dawn of the Golden Kingdom. As I alluded to, uh, considering the, the very first idea of these games came from Thailand, in that way it feels like the games are returning home, even though they've spread so successfully throughout Southeast Asia and been hosted far and wide. Thailand can lay some claim to being responsible for its origins. A civilization rich in art and culture with a prosperous way of life and abundance of nature. So now we come to a noisy and colourful end to this two-week festival of sport. Without doubt, first-time host Cambodia have confirmed and strengthened the truly significant value of the SEA Games across the region. The people of Phnom Penh, you've brought a gentle enthusiasm and warm hospitality to the Games. You've made your city a wonderful place to be for athletes, spectators, volunteers and for those of us in the workforce. We all know more about Cambodia, its history and culture than we did before we came and we've seen how much you love your sport and all have embraced the country's promotion of peace through sport, the campaign which has run strongly through the last fortnight. And in saying goodbye, we must express our gratitude to Cambodia's wonderful people for our time with you. Akun Chirang, thank you very much and may we see you in two years.